Yeah, g'day. This is Frank from Far From Eleven, and you're watching Local Band Smokeout. I think of that! Give me a hell yeah! How are you, sir? Good, how are you? I'm doing fantastic. Do me a favor and uh, properly introduce yourself for people that may not know you. So let me know whereabouts in the world you are and plug and promote anything you'd like. All right. Uh, so my name is Mark Williams. Uh, I am, uh, I guess, the main songwriter for Isiga Venon. Um, I'm in Austin, Texas. I uh, work at a grocery store. And we are signed to Rotting Sun Records. And um, yeah, uh, I don't know what else to plug at this point. <laughs> no worries, that's cool. And you, this started off as as a solo project, right? But then you started finding members to like fill up the whole band. Right. Yeah. So it was totally a solo a solo effort. Um, uh, but. Uh, I didn't want to do the vocals anymore. I didn't feel like they were really coming out the way I wanted them to. And I knew Curtis was capable of it. So I reached out to him. And um, then at that point, um, Chris uh, asked if, you know, I, I would like him to play bass. And um, he had done an interview with I see Gavin and uh, as, as a one man uh, act uh, a couple of years ago. And uh, so I said, sure, you know, and uh, his bass turned out really well. And that's where we're at now. So so no plans on a drummer or are you seeking a drummer? No, um, we we've considered that, like hiring somebody to play the drums. Uh, it's just a little bit difficult, um, you know, with uh, the money, the money situation, because, you know, a lot of guys want um i don't know you know maybe maybe 50 100 bucks a song or something like that so you know when you're talking a whole album it's easy to get into like you know a grand for just the drums well, what if you don't hire someone mm -hmm. you just have someone like actually join well that would be cool too uh nobody's asked so for sure. um, how'd you how'd you guys come up with a band name and do you recall any other names that were almost selected before you before you decided on this one uh i decided on this one so basically uh i used to play a lot of world of warcraft and i had this other band frost crown which was my take on their uh the area of the game ice crown so i wanted to keep the world of warcraft theme <laughs> I just didn't want to like blatantly use the the word icy veins, which is a mage uh, ability in the game. Um, and I, I kind of wanted to have an homage to my time that I spent uh, when I was in the army in Germany. So, um, yeah. So you served what? But they they uh, had you in Germany just protecting. Or uh, what I was did you a, do in Germany? I was a cook. I was a cook in the army, so uh, I just cooked food for the soldiers. You know, basically. Hell yeah! Um, that's still. I mean, you nothing, never know when crazy. you're in the army. You never know. So thank you for for taking care of the soldiers, dude. Yeah, thank you. What's what's something that uh, they would have you whip up in the back just to to feed them? Can you go through like a couple of the meals that you prepare? Yeah, I mean. Um, I remember, uh, at least in uh, the dining facility that I worked in, you know, uh, Thursday was always like soul food day. We'd have ham hocks, collard greens, um, uh, chicken wing, fried chicken wings, uh, basically you name it, you know, uh, any real soul food. Uh, then uh, Tuesdays a lot of times were a more Italian day, uh, so we would have uh spaghetti and and our chicken parm or something like that so yeah I and mean, it was it was kind of themed 
uh, Fridays, a lot of times were fish day. You know, we'd have fried catfish. That was always amazing. So, as the main songwriter of the band, how does a I Seek a Venom song start? Can you go through the process of of today's we're we're creating a new song? How does that start? Uh, so basically, what I do is uh, I start with a drum track. There'll be programmed drums or uh, something like that, um, MIDI loops. And I usually write my guitars to that, which is, forms the basis of the song. And at that point, uh, the way we've been doing it as a, as a group is uh, I'll send that to Chris. He'll lay down his bass. Curtis will be the last with the vocals. And the keyboards get added somewhere in between it all. You know, there's no set time for those. Sometimes the keyboards get written. Curtis will do his vocals. Vocals sound good, but the keyboards don't work with it, so you have to go back, redo them, you know, stuff like that. For sure. And I know you 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 brought the Louisiana hot sauce, right? I did. Excellent, excellent. Excellent. Here's the cool thing about the trivia, though. You get to pick the trivia topic. Is there a movie or TV show that you've seen so many times? If I look it up, this movie or TV show, it's impossible I stump you. Ooh. So many times. I mean, there's some obscure stuff. Um, that I might be the only one who cares about, so it might be a little unfair. Uh, let's go with... Uh, What's that? I was. I'm just curious what that is, though. Uh, mainly '80s teen sex romp comedies. Uh, I do have a pretty extensive knowledge about those for some some reason. For sure. Uh, what's a more common movie or TV show? We'll say. Uh, let's go Star Wars. I know it's a. I know it's cliche, but I, I know it pretty well. Any any particular Star Wars movie? Uh, Return of the Jedi. Okay. Give me a second to look up some uh, Return of the Jedi trivia. Is there someone that you guys have ever thought about having uh, as a feature on a song? And if so, who? Uh, well, Militia was on uh, Tenebris Entis. Um, so we did it. Uh, we wanted a, a female vocals on that song. And so she agreed. And uh, it was pretty nice. Yeah, it came out good. Uh, turned out yeah it turned out really well uh you know when in fact she sent uh one of my favorite things you know she sent like three takes uh of her vocals and uh we we used them all um you know to get a more serial sound i guess but uh it was awesome of her to do that you know some people they'll send over like one take and it it'll suck or something or they'll miss a cue and they, you know it takes forever to go back and forth which is kind of can be kind of annoying but uh yeah she's solid yeah it came out really good uh but i want to see if i can stump you right now let's see okay. in star wars return of the jedi where does Sarlacc live? The Sarlacc lives in the desert of Tatooine. That is not correct. <laughs> Sarlacc Don't is a large that. creature who lives in a burrow in the Dune Sea. Oh. So enjoy, enjoy the hot sauce. I'll enjoy some hot sauce with you. I've got some, some blueberry hellfire. Cheers, but we both we both gotta do so because I was able to stump you. I'll look up another one after this, but uh we'll we'll suffer a little bit to some hot sauce and then I'll ask you some more questions. Okay, so how do how, how long do I have to drink this? As long as you can do it. Just a swig is cool. So vinegary. The Dune Sea is on Tatooine, but I technically would say that is the incorrect answer. I was going to say the Sarlacc pit, but, Whew. well, shit. <laughs> do you normally do hot sauce? Like, are you a hot sauce guy? You got fried chicken or something? You putting hot sauce all over it or not really? 
Um, I usually use the Louisiana hot sauce for hush puppies. Okay, cool. Hell yeah. I haven't had a good hush puppy. It's puppies, so good. You know? um, I don't know why. My dad did it. He told me about it. I started doing it. It's just been a tradition. Family tradition. I like that. Do you play any video games? Uh, yeah, I do. Besides um, uh, Warcraft. Yeah, actually, I haven't played World of Warcraft in a few couple of years. It's it took a lot of um, took a lot of my time, and uh, I just didn't want to spend that much more time on a video game. But uh, here lately, I've been playing the show Twenty Three. Uh, I do like sports games quite a bit. Um, I like racing games a lot. Um, not big on first-person shooters because uh, I'm terrible at them. Fighting games, I'm also terrible at. Um, I like platformers quite a bit. Uh, so I think Song of the Deep is one of my favorite games I've ever played. So, Are you a big sports guy that, because you play a lot of sports games? like, Do you have a football team, baseball team, all that? Um. Yeah, just mainly the Phoenix teams. Um, I don't watch basketball or hockey, um, but as far as baseball goes, the Diamondbacks, football, the uh, the Cardinals. For sure. And uh, Yeah, I actually, uh, I don't get to watch every week because of my work schedule, but um, yeah, I watch sports, uh, or at least football. I don't really watch baseball. I keep up with stats here and there, but in scores, but uh, with football, actually enjoy watching the game it's a little more fast paced definitely i'm uh if i wasn't doing this every day i'd be if i hadn't committed my life i'll say it like this to music i would have tried to have been an espn analyst of some kind i'm obsessed with sports nice. all of them i could watch swimming <laughs> um <laughs> let's see can we can we expect another single from you guys before the year's over, or are you allowed to tell us about anything that you have planned in 2024 regarding new music coming out? Um, right now, like, I'm really, like, fingers crossed hoping for a spring release for a new album. Um, and probably some singles leading into it. Um, so that way, uh, it'll be about a year since Ghost of Yesterday came out. Um, you know, a lot of bands release an album every two or three years. So uh, I think if we can get it there uh, in in a year, it would the momentum you know that we've gained may keep going a little bit um, because people we've learned that people really want content and they want it really fast. Um, which isn't always the case when it comes to music. You know, you might get stumped for six months. You know, it's it kind of sucks. <laughs> but, they, you know, the people want what they want. So, yeah, um, my fingers are crossed. We want we want the, that new music. Please give us the, the new tunes. Let's see if we can do one more. One more Return of the Jedi Chirpy. The name of this shuttle is clearly said in the movie what is the code name of the imperial shuttle the rebels used to land on the forest moon of endor that is a hard one that's the one where they had the older code that checked out right that i don't know it only has the answer and then it says the name of the shuttle is clearly said in the movie yeah, I, I don't know that one. I'm drinking hot sauce. <laughs> More hot sauce. Enjoy it, my friend. Uh, first. You said earlier that you that um, you were a little bit little bit stony for this one. Are you a hybrid guy, sativa, indica? What's your preference? Uh, sativa all the way, hundred percent. I think I tend to favor sativas. I'm like. I'm like a 60-40. Like, 60% of the time I want sativas. 40% of the time, I think I'm going Indica. I think uh, it's really weird, but... And I talked to a girl in a dispensary back in Phoenix about this. But basically, everyone has this... Um, I don't know if it's a, you know, a myth necessarily, but they have this idea that um 
um, indicas relax you, uh, and, and that's what they do. And, and that may be the case to an extent, but they, when I use an indica, it makes me paranoid. I get in my own head too much. So it's like the opposite effects of what most people say sativas do, indicas do to you. Right. So when I smoke sativa, like my head's right. I can think clearly. I feel more creative. I feel, you know, relaxed. It's weird. Interesting. And I, I talked to a girl at the dispensary and she was the same way. I mean, I guess it's just body chemistry. You know, there's no, there's no other way to like probably explain it. Um, but yeah, my, my girlfriend's the same way. She likes sativas. So. That's cool. I just dig it. Who, yeah. who made you want to be a musician when you were younger? What, what album or artist do you, do you recall just blowing your mind to the point of where you decided you wanted to do what they do? Uh, it was definitely Smashing Pumpkins, probably Siamese Dream. Uh, maybe Melancholy and Infinite Sadness was really like solidified what I wanted to do with my life. Two great albums. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Melancholy is probably my favorite album. Well, Adore is my favorite album of all time by them. Um, but Melancholy is definitely a solid second. Have you seen them live a couple times? Just once. Uh, I got to see them last year with Jane's Addiction here in Austin. Oh, cool. Hell yeah. Let's do some fun ones. We got time for a couple more. We'll do some fun ones. When uh, okay. when the Sativas, it's it's... The night where we're just, we're just, we're burning. We're burning. You want to get high? I mean, it's one of those nights. When, are, yeah. when, it, when it's time to go grub on some munchies, what's the munchie meal that's that always hits the spot? Oh, man. Depends on if I'm ordering or it's in the house. If I'm ordering, Taco Bell always hits the spot. Hell yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's so bad for you, but it's so good. Um, but if it's in the house... I'm a big fan of uh, dried fruits and nuts, trail mixes. Uh, I can eat like a whole bag of like almonds just sitting here, and it's horrible for you. You know, they're like good, good in moderation, but it's a lot of almonds. But uh, I love, I love nuts. That's cool. I didn't know eating don't, a lot of almonds at on one that. time was bad don't for you. Don't incorrectly quote me on that. <laughs> I like that. nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I won't. That's funny. Um, final, final couple questions. Do you have anything that that freaks you out or scares you, like along the lines of a phobia? Oh yeah, uh, height. I can't can't deal with heights very well. I get nauseous. I get nauseous. Uh, there's a movie that came out not too long ago about some girls that climbed some radio tower. Um, they were trapped up at the top of a radio tower, but just the, just the camera work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know what you're talking about. They're stuck like way up there, and then it starts to like fall apart, and they're tripping out and stuff. Yeah, yeah. That movie actually uh, made me a little nauseous at times uh, watching the visuals of it. Yeah, so, no, I, uh, I was I like, I had like anxiety there. problems watching that one. And uh, spiders, I, I will, I will fight any spider I see. Yeah, they don't stand a used chance. To, I used to, yeah, I used to run, but now I start throwing things. <laughs> For sure, that's that's funny. Is there anything, I know I asked you in the beginning, but is there anything that you want us to know and or plug and promote before we before we uh, say goodbye, Mark? Um, Yeah, if you if you enjoy I See Good Inning, uh I ho hope this doesn't come off as a... Uh, as, uh, rude but uh i do have another project called like sorrow um you know if people want to check that out uh it's kind of like i see a been in but there's no keyboards um and then of course uh a second mention goes to the rotting sun records and josh over there for uh putting up with us and, and being a good friend as well um and then uh shout out to steve or Stephen haggerty from uh Lacerate Studios, who did all of our uh, mixing and mastering work for our stuff. So. 
Hell yeah. Well, Mark, this was fun, man. I appreciate you opening up to us. Let us know a little more about you. Let us know what's coming out in the, in the future with the with the album possibly coming out in here uh, early 2024. That's awesome. And uh, just we appreciate your time, man. Thank you so much. All right, man. Well, thank you so much. Y'all have a great one. My pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Williams. I see you vetted. Give me a hell yeah. Have a great day, brother. Thank you again. I'll send you the YouTube link when it's ready uh, tomorrow morning. Or tonight for tomorrow morning. Hi, what's up, Welcome to the local band, Smokeout.